Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to do another shave off. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. <music> Oh yes, I've got two blades ready to go in the matching game changers. Thank you to my beautiful wife. And today's blades are gonna be the Gillette Nasset and the Astra Superior Platinum. Which blade is gonna win? This is the last uh, of the overall blades that are gonna be tested. So next week, it will be the winning blades will com be competing against the other winning blades. Today's Shave Soap is going to be by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and this is Droid Black. I will put a scent profile right here. And this is a excellent scent. Uh, this is based off of Floyd Black. And if you have Floyd Black in your shaved in, and you are prepared to let it go, send me a message and let me know because I would like to get a hold of some of that and see what it's really all about. Today's soap has already been lathered in the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl and wow, this stuff lathers really nice and this is gonna be good. And I have my Trotters handcraft, and this is the Retro Red. I don't know if the light is actually picking up the glitter, but what a beautiful brush. Okay, so let's go ahead. No pre-shave today. I'm just going to go ahead and get lathered up here uh, and get the shave going. What a very nice scent. I do have the... Uh, bath bar or body bar, whatever you want to call it, the bar of soap that they make there over there at PAA in this particular scent. And I did use that just before starting the video, but I will tell you that, um, I don't know. I'm not saying it's a bad soap, uh, to bathe with, but for some reason I can't get it to quite lather like some of the other soaps. And maybe that's just error on my part. I don't know how, uh, but maybe so. I don't know. Okay. So I, like I said, I have both of those blades already, um, loaded into the matching game changers. And these, this here is the 0.84 in case this is your first time seeing the showdown. And let's go ahead and warm up razor number one. I have no idea what blade is in this razor, but I want to find out which one I prefer the best. And I don't know if I told you before, but this is subjective. Your results may be different. This blade is feeling nice and sharp. Feels as though it's mowing it down pretty well. Seems pretty smooth. Those are all the things I'm looking for. Now in the neck region will be the real test. So let's grab razor number two. I need to warm that one up and get it wet. I don't like to use a dry razor, do you? If you do, comment below and let me know. Do you grab your razor and just get to shaving or do you wet the razor first? This blade It's pretty sharp, but I can tell it is just it's not quite as smooth, mm -hmm. but it is close. So let's go ahead and continue on with the shave. Hmm. 
It feels good. I'm going to venture to say, no, let me let me finish out with, with the other razor. Get it wet again. This one, like I said, is just a touch smoother. I think this is going to be the winner for today. And I will put the chart or the tournament list or whatever you want to call it uh, showing that this blade is going to be the winner. I believe it to be the Nasset. Let's open it up. Let's take a look and see. Am I right? So far, I've been pretty good about uh, guessing what they are. And winner, winner, chicken dinner. That one is the Nasset. And I don't know if I had said in any of the previous videos, these are all new blades, first use. And I'm going to say that uh, each one that has won in the previous category has been put back in the wrapper. So we're going to go on the next uh, bout and they'll all have one use already on them. So let's just take this one out to double check. Make sure my wife didn't pull a quick one on me. And that one is the Astra. That is a nice blade uh, for the price. I think uh, at one point I had bought, Amazon had them on a, on a sale for like a hundred pack for $6.99. But uh, that may have been a few years ago. So don't go quote me on the price on that. But for the price compared to the Nassets, I think the Nassets were a little bit more expensive. Uh, but, you know, most hundred packs are not really that expensive. The feathers are kind of getting up there if you're a, a feather man, but still yet. Look at the lather on that. Whew, wow. Yeah, the hundred packs are not really that expensive if you do the comparison to, uh, what the cartridge razors are or the replacement cartridges. I think on this side, right over in here, for some reason I felt a little bit, uh, a little bit of irritation already. That's kind of shocking. All right, well, you know, it's one of those things that out of a hundred blades, sometimes you do get one that's not perfect. So I could say it's that. It could be user error. It could be from a shave I had the other day. <laughs> so who knows? Uh, second pass uh, across the grain. It's Wednesday and it's Will It Shave Wednesday. I forgot to say that in the beginning of the video. This blade is definitely smoother. <clears throat> My big hands in a way. So something new to me, uh, you know, I live in Illinois in the southern portion of it. I'm about five hours, five and a half hours maybe drive of Chicago. And I've seen and done a lot of things in my life. Up until recently, I have had some armadillos in my yard. And at first, I didn't know uh, what was going on because around some of my trees and that little decorative landscaping, I noticed uh, some stuff had been, something had been digging in there. And I know sometimes squirrels will hide their nuts in there and get them back, but this was a different, it looked different, uh, just the way the hole was and how things were scattered. I wasn't sure what it was, but uh, 
I will continue this story here in just a second. I'm going to get cleaned up with some cold water and I will be right back. I am back and look what I remembered, the ice cube stick. So uh, back to the story. Uh, look at that ice, that crazy. Anyway, it's like lipstick. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so Armadillo was in my yard and I'm not really sure what to do about it. And so I didn't get on Google, I didn't go set any traps. But I did ask an old timer, hey, do you have any cures or anything that would deter this thing to leave? And uh, he said mothballs. So uh, the whole point of the story uh, was that last night I went and got some mothballs and threw them around underneath the porch and around the areas that this little booger's been chewing up. Because the Doberman went outside with my wife one night and... I guess this thing was out there and uh, it got excited or whatever it did and rolled up into a little ball. And, uh, you know, my Doberman loves playing with balls. So she ran over there and uh, not not a good thing. But uh, anyway, she didn't attack it. It didn't attack her. And uh, I, I've heard that those things are, uh, did I show you this? I'm blabbing on. Uh yeah, I heard that they're, you know, they, they carry diseases and stuff. So I would rather that thing not take up residence here. And uh, if there is something that I could try, you know, like the mothballs, I would be more than happy to do it. Because I don't have time to go out there and wait for this thing to come around to pop it or trap it or whatever. So that's what... Uh, kind of got me thinking this morning I got up my nose was a little stuffy you know you know and uh that was the uh mothballs in my nose and uh it's just not one of those things I really care to mess with and I, I can't I got I, I'm so frugal I gotta get the whatever I can out of the bottom <laughs> I should lay it on its side that's what I should do so yeah hopefully that will Make that critter run away, and I'll just have to go out and tend to the mulch, kind of dress up the trees a little bit, and I will see if it continues to dig around. If there's no more digging, I know that did its job, and wow, what a nice shave. I don't know, was it the ice cube that made it nice, or was it the user? I don't know. Either way, what an excellent shave. Well... That's it. I will put a picture right here of the main items that I used today. And I will see you guys on Sunday's Shave. You have a great rest of your week.